Okay, this is going to be a very rapid brief overview of cholesterol metabolism. So you have a rough idea um, where cholesterol comes from, where it goes, so that you understand uh, more the pathophysiology of gallstones. I'll briefly touch on uh, uh, other clinically relevant aspects of uh, cholesterol. Okay, first question asked is where does cholesterol come from? Some of it does come from the GIT. So in the GIT, um, my cells form. Um, due to the action of bile salts and they're absorbed by the endothelium of the intestine and the endothelium makes chylomicrons and excrete that into the lymph and then they circulate into the body and then eventually the triglycerides are harvested from the chylomicron leaving a chylomicron remnant and this remnant uh, is harvested by hepatocytes and the cholesterol extracted out of the chylomicron remnant and so part of the cholesterol in our bodies is from the diet due to this process. But most cholesterol in our bodies is synthesized uh, de novo. So uh, it's synthesized out of acetyl coenzyme A, which comes either from beta oxidation of fatty acids or from uh, glycolysis of uh, glucose, um, from and thus from pyruvate. And then this uh, molecule, this enzyme HMG coenzyme A reductase converts acetyl coenzyme A into mevalonate. This stands for hydroxymethylglutyryl coenzyme A. Then there are a couple of steps from mevalonate to cholesterol, which uh, I'm not going to go into detail here. Um, the reason why I want you to know this um, enzyme is because this is the enzyme that's inhibited by statin therapy. So if you have a patient uh, with high cholesterol and you give them a statin such as simvastatin or any of the other statin medications, their cholesterol levels will drop due to inhibition of this um, enzyme. Okay, and then this cholesterol that we have, we use it for various things. We synthesize testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, uh, some of the steroid hormones such as aldosterone. We synthesize vitam vitamin D, which behaves as more as a hormone in the body than as a nutrient. Um, so some of it we can get from our diet, and some of it we make uh, from cholesterol in our skin or upon exposure to um, solar radiation. Cholesterol is used to make coenzyme Q. Uh, which is a proton transporter in um, our electron transport chain and our mitochondria, uh, which is necessary to generate ATP. And it's also a component of various cell membrane uh, bits and uh, various uh, intracellular components. Uh, it's used to make bile acids slash bile salts, and it's used to make some lipoproteins. Um, so if you block off the creation of cholesterol, um, these patients will sometimes call, complain of muscle aches and tiredness, and that's due to reduced coenzyme Q, which, makes re uh, which means reduced ATP, and also some nerve conduction issues uh, due to alteration of how your cell membrane is working. And this is an important concept for you to master, so it deserves a slide of its own the relationship between lipoproteins and cholesterol. Cholesterol is used to synthesize our lipoproteins and um, the lipoproteins I want to focus on is very low density lipoprotein, low density lipoprotein and high density lipoprotein. And these proteins um, actually are involved in the transport of cholesterol in and of itself. So cholesterol manufactures the very things that will transport it around. And um, VLDL and LDL tend to deposit cholesterol into the periphery, um, whereas HDL tends to take up cholesterol uh, from peripheral tissues. So we say that patients are at higher risk of developing um, cholesterol uh, plaques if they have a high LDL, so there's lots of deposition into the blood vessels of cholesterol, and at lower risk of um, cholesterol blocks if they have a high HDL, because that's actually going to take cholesterol away from the blood vessel walls and reduce uh, your ability to make plaques. So the goals of cholesterol treatment will not only be to reduce total cholesterol, but to reduce LDL and increase HDL. That's my reference, the only decent um, description of cholesterol physiology I was able to find was in this pharmacology textbook.